The Birdshot Day came about because both patients and medical specialists were concerned about how to raise the profile of the rare and potentially blinding eye disease, Birdshot choroideretinopathy, which is one of several types of inflammatory eye disease that fall under the classification uveitis. Both patient and specialist wants to ensure that it gets the proper treatment it needs. Ria and Annie are two patients with Birdshot. They had set up a support group called the Birdshot Uveitis Society and an information website about the disease. They approached all the uveitis consultants in the UK to find out how they could raise the profile of this disease, as well as find out how many people in the UK were affected. Both Ria and Annie had struggled to find appropriate information and treatment when they were first diagnosed. They had felt very isolated and worried. As an ophthalmologist at Moorfields Eye Hospital, I was becoming increasingly aware of the complexity of the disease and increasing number of people with birdshot. There was insufficient base evidence available. A lot of patients were not receiving adequate treatment. It was a disease crying out to be researched, and yet it was virtually impossible to do any research because it was hard to find enough patients for a study. Luckily, Rhea and Annie from Birdshot Uveitis Society contacted me to ask me if I was interested in working with them to promote the cause of birdshot and hence the whole idea of the birdshot day developed. Because birdshot is a rare disease, it can be difficult to access appropriate expertise in medication. Rhea and Annie wanted to ensure that no one had to go through the problems that they had faced without adequate support and information. Um. Now, some of us are worse than this and some of us are better than this, but this is often how we see. It's faded, lots of floaters and bits and debris in the way, um, and sometimes, depending on the contrast, we can see very little or quite a lot. A series of meetings followed between the Birdshot Uveitis Society, consultant ophthalmologists and organisers. As a result, the program for the day resulted from a distillation of the interests expressed by both patients and professionals. We were very fortunate to secure some key primary funding from the UCL Beacon Bursary Scheme and following this from the NIHR Biomedical Research Centre for Ophthalmology at Moorfields Eye Hospital. In addition to this, funding and organisational support was available from the Birdshot Uveitis Society. We then began planning the day in earnest. This shows you the aims of the day. A considerable amount of effort was put into raising awareness of both the Birdshot Uveitis Society and the Birdshot Patient Day between April and September 2010. The day itself was a resounding success with both patients and professionals feeling that they had gained enormously. The variety of events and discussions packed into the day should not normally have been possible. But such was the enthusiasm of patients, supporters and healthcare professionals that the day flowed with immense vigour and spirit. We included diverse talks from ophthalmologists, patients and charitable societies. There were informal discussion fora for patients and professionals, art sessions for all participants to sketch their impressions of the disease, as well as advice from complementary therapists and vision support charities. Healthcare professionals expected patients to primarily want researchers to focus on more tolerable therapies for patients living with the disease, particularly after hearing patients recount their experiences of the nasty side effects of existing treatments. However, the primary research question of interest turned out to be about the causes of the disease. This conclusion and discussions throughout the day have generated a birdshot research network supported by the NIHR Biomedical Research Centre for Ophthalmology, comprising patient experts and healthcare professionals from around the UK. The feedback received from the day was very positive. Patients and professionals alike benefited greatly from communicating in a non-clinical environment for a whole day. In addition to the immediate success of the day and the establishment of a birdshot research network, we were overwhelmed by the strength that a partnership approach to a rare disease can bring. The combination of patient and professional involvement was a very powerful one. 
We believe it will be a model for many other patient and public involvement initiatives. In response, our NIHR Biomedical Research Center is seeking ways to recreate this model in association with other patient groups so that many more collaborations of this nature can be established in the future.